Anyways, we're at the gym and we're doing a quad in group day, which I haven't done a quad in group day since it's been a long time before I've been considered doing one of these. So we're going to start up with glutes. I don't remember why we're not starting up quads, but we're not, so. I guess. I like made the decision in my brain, but I don't really think I had specific reasoning. I don't know, but we're gonna be on the Smith Machine for maybe the whole day, dude. It's gonna be here for a while. Alright. Here's set number one. I just put 35 out of 35 on both sides. Today, hip thrust always hurts my butt so bad. I don't think I can ever not do hip thrust. Like, I think that's one of the workouts that I'm just going to have to do for the rest of my life. I'm super hungry. I was supposed to grab a protein shake on my way out this morning, but I forgot. So I'm literally running on no food. I've just been chugging down water. Because I'm so fatigued. I'm always cooking meal. Just kidding, I eat like four, five meals a day. So I'm hungry. You want to start begging for food? Four sets here, set number two. Oh. Good news is I really feel it in my butt. I haven't like had problems with hip thrust in a while. I feel like if you start doing hip thrusts, the form problems are like always there. But then as you keep doing them, they kind of go away. So I'm used to the form enough now. But I'm gonna take a 35 off and put 25. Whenever I wear my hair like this, I get at least one comment that tells me. I look like Pippi Longstocking. Get it to like stay. I still look like some random thing that you guys accuse me of looking like. It's my number one passion in life. Here's step number three. Come on. That's really funny to me. I love how I'm just on the floor, set up on a bench. It's really funny to me is when people are like, this blank form of exercise is better than blank form of exercise. This is better than, oh, calisthenics is better than weight training. Powerlifting is better than weight training. Pilates is better than weight training. First of all, what? Maybe just for you, not for everybody. And also, it's funny because I'm just dancing with the voice over my head right now. Not everybody's gonna have the same goals. Not even goals. Not everybody's gonna have the same like likes and dislikes when it comes to working out. Some people like to do high intensity, some people want moderate intensity, you know? I mean, most people don't even work out every day. That's it. So, for the next new workout, we're going to do RDLs, super set with single leg RDLs. So, I don't love super sets. I've said it before. I actually don't like them at all. But, I figure, I just want to try to get crazy pumps today on the glutes. So, I want to see if this attributes to it. I'm doing an experiment. Okay, I'm trying to change my mindset because I don't like it doesn't mean I couldn't like it. Don't apply that to your real life, just in the gym. I put this guy over here. All right, about 45 on either side. Set number one. Okay, now time to grab this guy.
Let's move on to him. I'm gonna give that a 10. I enjoyed that, you guys. I think this could be sprinkled in every once in a while to like a glute. Hey, wouldn't do it all the time. Here, Jen. It's fun, just do it. So you don't have a debate on how long you should be resting? Not debate, I've seen different opinions. Opinions are not debate, she will. Not debate, she just needs to look at. Anyways, in my opinion, take a rest until you're not tired anymore. I don't think that takes that long, really. It depends on your age and your, your fitness level, but right now, I'll probably be good in like a minute. So that's about like a minute and 45 second rest. As long as you feel like you need to. Don't like rest four minutes just because somebody says to. Just rest for as long as you feel like. Or don't rest for 30 seconds because someone says to. Once you feel ready to go again, just go. Okay, we are going to move on to quads. So, we set everything up. All right, you guys, so for the next workout, we are starting with close stands. So, we're pushing hack squat. It's my favorite way to do hack squat right now because if you're short like me, most hack squat machines don't allow for you to get great depth. And the one, like, huge one that I've seen, like, online, doesn't exist at my gym or any gym I've ever gone to. The only hack squats that we have here, it's, like, near impossible for me to hit depth because of my height so this is like the cure for that so i have 35 pounds on there and i know that's not a lot but when you do it this way it is so here's set number one Okay. Ooh. So we're doing this one. Then we're coming right here. I'm using an 80 pound dumbbell for these, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Okay, let's go. This is like really heavy. <laughs> Damn, dude. That was crazy. Really heavy. Holding that was really hard. I see people do 120, 150. I mean, we're getting there, so I'm proud of myself, but Jesus, dude, that was heavy. It was like on my stomach and my like obliques, but I'll get used to it. Here's the number two on this one. Actually, I can take a little bit more of a break, just a little bit. Ouch, dude. There we go. Mm. 
I don't know if you guys saw that, but at first, I felt it hurting, and then I did like a tiny shift to my form, and I felt so much better. I used to be on the maze with Goblet Squads, but then I realized I'm supposed to be having fun here, and I need to squash the beans. I need to have some fun to lighten up a little bit. I have to use the wet sponge and just do the Goblet Squads. Who cares if, if I'm doing it a little bit wrong, whatever. <laughs> heavy, heavy, heavy. I don't know if I can keep going to be honest. I need to go slice it. This is probably going to be the last one of the day because I don't know what's going on right here. I don't want to try to find out. All right, squad phone time. Realize that was in. Sorry, guys, I'm like not talking. I'm just really focused on flexing right now. I forgot that I talk during these. So here's the pump, I guess, even though I'm just doing it in silence. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks good to me. I'm not too worried about my knee, but we are going to deload next week. I know I said I was going to deload this week, but for some reason, I was positive the pain would go away. But it's in it. The light thing. So I might even skip quads on Monday. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you Mondays.